morning movers, welcome back to New Daily Fitness, I'm Tracy. All right, here's a format I don't know if that I've done before. I'm gonna give you five minutes on the clock. We're gonna do four different strength exercises for one minute each with no rest in between, and then one cardiovascular exercise. We'll repeat that through twice, all right? So basically it'll be 10 minutes, and we'll do a number of circuits. All right, grab a variety of dumbbells in the workout today. You'll need those, and we'll start you with a warm up and end with a cool down. Don't forget, we have our Move Daily membership available to all women. You can click the card at the top of the screen and check that out. All right, let's do this workout at Move Daily. intensity intervals on my watch there. All right, let's warm things up. Start with a squat. That's good. Yeah, so each exercise for a minute, that is gonna be challenging to stay in the pocket there. Of course, you can break any time you'd like. Take a break throughout. Okay, this is like that push until you can't, rest until you can. All right, take it wide, open here. I'm in essence gonna work for about that 10 minutes and then take a rest myself. So we'll see how that goes. <laughs> we sure will, Trace. One more here and touch your toes. Good, some roundhouses here. Little hip openers. Good, I'm gonna do some heel digs and sweep alternating sides. Oh, my hamstring, very sore. Do not have a good range of motion here. <laughs> I feel like, ah, oh, I did a leg day the other day. Still feeling it. Two more here. And some arm circles. Tap it out. Switch directions. Good, I'm gonna do a forward lunge, reach. Okay, just really stretching that hip flexor behind me. Good, hands on the ground and step the other side, big stretch. And switch again. Sink into the hip flexor stretch there. And switch one more. and some front and back hinges right here. Let's finish off with a rotation and then we'll get you started. All right, there we go. Are you ready? There's the five exercises. There's the five, our 10 minutes on the clock, our two rounds, and here we go. All right, for this round, I'm using 120 and my set of 15s. I might switch round two, we'll see how it goes. We're starting with that goblet squat for a full 60 seconds. Feet are shoulder width apart, drop it low.
Remember, there's no rest unless you need it. I'll be going right into that push-up. There we go. From the knees to mod with that salute. Push up and salute. Push up, other side, salute. Grabbing my 15 for that single dumbbell swing. Here we go. I'll call half on the hand. Hip hinge, pop. Good. Use your hips. One more here. Switch your hand. Of course, if you had a kettlebell, you could use that here instead. Grabbing that other 15 for my row hammer. All right, and work. Row, stand and hammer, elbows in. Squat, foot tap is next. Here we go. Right into it. Wide stance, low, tap, jump, low, tap, jump. Second reps for round two. Quick sip. I'm gonna stick with my 20. Good shoulder width. All right, shoulders back and drop it low.
last 10 seconds, then we're down for that push up again with the salute. Here we go. Right into it. for that dumbbell swing. All right, I'll call half of the hand. Hinge pop. A lot more hips are needed with this heavier weight. Last one here, and switch. Last one here. All right, cardio, let's go. You get a full 30 second rest. If you don't need the rest, keep that cardio going. Here's the next set, grab the weights you need. Starting with that squat Arnold press. I've got my 12s right here. The front rack, squat first, Arnold at the top, drop it low. Arnold's here and up. Good.
We're gonna move into those reverse lunges. I'll stay hold my 12s, alternating legs. Okay, and reverse switch. Remember, if you're feeling that in your elbow, you can hold the weights on your shoulders. Just keep that core engaged. Plie bicep curl with my 12s coming up. Wide. Little curl. Stand, low curl. That tiptoe squat with my 15s. All right, here we go. Up on the shoulders. I'll call half on the toe. Last one here, switch your toe. Burpee plank jack coming up. Okay, you can stay tall and just hit a jack if you don't want a burpee. Here we go. Jack at the bottom and jump at the top.
I'm gonna switch to those 15s for that reverse lunge. Okay, here we go. Alternating. I'll go back to my 12s for the plie bicep. Okay. Take it wide, curl to the bottom. back, stick your chest out on that curl. Elbows in. I'll go back to my 15s for the tiptoe squat. Switch your toe. Getting ready for those burpees or jacks. Anything to keep that heart rate up. Here we go. Plank jack at the bottom. Jump at the top. you'll need. I'm starting with that blast off renegade row. I've got my 15s, I've got my 8s for the two leg with the shoulder exercises. Adding those v-sits for some abs. Get ready. Single side rows, then blast off. So, lift it left, lift it right, reach those hips back. Thank you. 
Front lunge lateral raise coming up. I'm using those eights. Which might be nuts. Probably picked fives, but oh well. All right, front lunge here. Lateral here. Alternate. Sit small package on the ground next. Take it low. Here we go. Knee sit here. Small package here. Grab the knees. V sit. Small package. I'm grabbing my eight for that squat front raise combo. Oh, up you get. Make sure you're not dizzy. Raise at the front, at the bottom. You're here. Shoulders back. In and out squat jumps coming up. Full minute, it's gonna be hard. Here we go. Low. Second rest here. Oh yeah. All right, we're going back into the blast off. Last round, folks. Last five minutes. Get into position. And row. Blast off. Reach and row.
Ready for that lunge lateral. Whew. Right into it if you can. Ready for that decent small package. Last one here, and down you go. Last 10 seconds. Get ready for that squat for a raise. I'll hold one eight. Uh, all right. Into it. Stick your chest out. In and out squat jumps is our last one. Coming up. All right, let's hit these. See what you can do. Stay low. Don't come out of that squat. Last 10 seconds. Stay with me. Oh, that burn is real. Three, two, one and done. I can't believe I did that whole thing. <laughs> You've been daily in your intense total body hit. We did miss triceps though, so sorry. You can do that tricep finisher if you'd like. Holy Hannah. Walk it out, join for a stretch if you can. That was some sweaty goodness. Let's have a seat on the ground here this time. Leg is out nice and tall. <laughs> Hamstring stretch that is still very tight. <laughs> I need to hop on that foam roller. I just know it's gonna kill, so I'm, I've been denying it. <laughs> Sitting in the corner staring at me. I'll do it. 
Uh, now that I'm nice and warm, it's good. Hey, it's Friday today right now while I'm filming this and I just had a coaching call with the members and we talked about, let's cross this leg up and glute stretch. We talked about sabotaging ourselves or falling off the wagon and how there's lots of different scenarios that could cause us to do that or that could cause one to do that. Sometimes we have this all or nothing mentality, right? So we think that if we go out to a social outing, we've got to either be all in, all the food, all the drink, all the festivities or nothing and then we just stay home and switch legs. Are you in one of those camps? I have learned to moderation because what I think I trump or value more than maybe being a part of the crowd is feeling good, right? Like I want to feel good the next day. I have targets and goals for myself and part of those means that I need to get up the next day and hit my workouts and hit my walk and eat healthy, right? That, that's all a part of my longevity target. It's a part of my um, building lean muscle target. It's a part of my mental health target. So I want to do those things more than I want to be socially accepted in a circle or a party. So sometimes I think we have that all or nothing mentality. I, I would still go to the party, but I could moderate now. Now, I, I sort of posed this, put this out there, let's do a quad stretch. If you can't, if you have that all or nothing mentality, let's get curious about that. Where did that come from? Right, and remember curiosity, as uh, Jackie, she came on to our membership this last week and talked about uh, widening our window of tolerance or sitting with discomfort. She talked about looking at those things with curiosity, but curiosity means to look at it without judgment. Sometimes we judge ourselves pretty harshly when we mess up or fall off the way and we're like, you idiot, why did you do that? I'm so dumb. I, I told myself I didn't want to and yet I did. As opposed to really gently coming alongside yourself and saying, I wonder what it is that keeps me trapped in this behavior this pattern that is not allowing me to reach my targets, even though I say I want to. What is going on for me with this in a social setting or with my spouse or with my girlfriends? So we have to look at it with curiosity and, and just be curious. Try to figure out why that pat you have that pattern that continues to sabotage your, your goals. Um, yeah, so that's that all or nothing thinking and it's a relevant to a lot of us, I think it's something that a lot of us have. Sometimes you grow up that way, right? You just are very polarized in your thinking. It's either this way or that way. Whereas could we ride the gray line a little bit more and practice moderation over all or nothing thinking? This is where I think that 80-20% comes in really nicely, that there's a principle that 80% of the time you're eating foods, you're moving your body, you're Pay attention to self-care. You're doing the things that serve you and that make you feel really good. And then 20% of the time, allow yourself to, you know, if you're at a concert, if you're at a birthday, you're having some of the things that you enjoy that, so you don't want to restrict, you don't want to put, say no forever on certain things, um, but could you come to a place of moderation? I can already hear you. A lot of you are saying, no, I can't. I, I cannot moderate. If I do, I would eat the whole thing. So that's where I'm saying that needs to be explored. That needs to be opened up maybe, and then just maybe explored with some curiosity again, which means no judgment. But where did that come from? When did that start? Why is that there? How does it serve you, right? It's a part of you. All parts are welcome. There's no bad parts, but it serves you and it's there for a reason. So take a look the next time maybe that happens and uh, be kind and gentle with yourself but make sure that you do explore that. All right, thanks for joining. That was a lovely little 30, 35 minute workout, whatever it was. I'll see you in the next workout. Click or tap there if you'd like to join our membership where we talk about things like this and more. Uh, and click here if you want to work out for tomorrow. All right, see ya in the next workout. Water, where are you?